If you were one of the 74,000 to attend Jelly Roll at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, then you heard his cover of Alabama's If You're Gonna Play in Texas. Well, it turns out the musician that he brought on to play alongside him is from right here in Houston. He is an incredibly sweet guy. Uh, take a peek with us now at some of that viral performance. I mean, my God, that is a wild time. This morning, we are here with Demola, the violinist. Uh, good morning, Demola. Uh, when good did morning. you start playing the violin, and how did you get into it? I, I started playing in church. I've been playing for like 17 years now. Um, I started playing the violin in church. My brother was playing the piano, and he wanted me to play the violin, and so I picked it up in church. Wow. Okay, so but before we get to, to the concert with Jelly yeah. Roll, because yeah. that was obviously a mm -hmm. huge deal, you have quite the following online. How did that all get started, and in, in TikTok in particular? Yeah, okay, I started TikTok during COVID. Okay, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. I was, not, I, was not even, I was not really into TikTok at all. I started in 2016 when I started on social media, Facebook, um, YouTube, and uh, Instagram, especially okay. Instagram. Okay. Um, and over time, you know, I said I, I'm asking followers depending on whatever songs I cover and people wanted to see me live. But in, on TikTok, in 2020, my friends, I, I did a show um, with the Tony Tony Tonys in Connecticut and a friend of mine was like, yo, you're not on TikTok, what's your TikTok? I'm like, no, I'm not on TikTok. And so I opened a TikTok and then COVID struck, you know, two months later and then I had to, you know, figure my way out and started playing, you know, of course everyone was home. Yeah. So TikTok was it, well, we just streaming and all of and that. And a lot of your TikToks have gone viral. We want to play one right now. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> Wow. Seven million views on this one, and that's just one. And well, and I can see why. It's incredible. <laughs> You are incredible, Damola. Thank, oh thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank so you. how do you choose what you're going to play? You let the audience kind of pick? How Most do you... times, yeah. Most times I let the audience pick what kind of music um, they want me to play. That song that went viral was one of the songs that they chose. They were like, oh, I was alive. And they were like, yo, you got to play. This song from South Africa was, was the biggest, you know, um, I'm a piano song in the world. Uh -huh. And then it was really very huge in Europe. And then my friends and, I mean, my fans in Europe and fans or whatever, they were like, yo, you need to play this song. And I, I kept seeing it every time of my life. So I was like, you know what, let me go play this song. So I decided to play it. And I slept and I woke up and boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I posted it like around maybe one, or I, can't, I can't remember, I think within the midnight, our midnight here was morning in South Africa, and it went viral in South Africa first, and then took off in Europe, and you know, the rest was history. All of you guys have inspirations, right? You, you are inspired by other artists, I assume. Definitely. Uh, people you try to emulate or that you're motivated by. Who are your favorite artists, and what drove you into this style of music? Okay. Um, Funny enough, most of my favorite artists are the violinist. Oh, really? <laughs> did <Okay>. not. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. Kenny G is one of my favorite. Kenny G. I grew up listening to Kenny G. Yeah. George Benson. You know, he's a guitarist. George Benson. You know, of course, Fela Kuti from is king of Afrobeats, the originator of Afrobeats. He plays saxophone, he plays trumpet, and he sings. You know. Yeah. Um, of course, I love Michael Jackson, and Prince is one of my idols. Too. Prince. Definitely. Yeah. Another. Yeah. And Michael you know, Jackson. Michael Jackson. Beautiful. He's a huge entertainer. You know. So I draw inspirations from all of them, and I can keep going James Brown. You know. Have and, you met any of these guys? You met. George Benson or Kenny I've, G? Or I've, I've, I've never met any of them. One of my, I've actually met one of my idols, you know, but it was it was Winton Masalis. He plays a trumpet. Oh my God. Oh Winton Masalis, I met yes. him, and yo, I had to perform for him. Did you yes. really? I Tell performed. us about that. Yo, when I performed for Winton Masalis, he actually didn't know he was gonna, you know, he didn't know who I was. And when he finished, he walked up to me, I was like, what's your name? I was like, yo, so I, I bowed to him. I was like, yo, you <laughs> threw me. Course, like, hey, um, you're, you're one of my idols. And he was like, wow. And then he spoke to me in New York. He was like, oh, I'm gonna be performing in New York one of these days. I'll reach out to you or your team and I'll tell you to come. I'll pull you up. I'm like, okay. And that, was, that happened last year. So I'm still waiting for him to reach out to me to come to New York. I love that you brought up Wynton Marsalis because it, it leads into my next question, which is when I think about him and that trumpet, mm -hmm. he's a master of classical music, of jazz, jazz of anything he of really anything. wants, right? Mm. So I look at you and you you have a violin in your
your hand, which is so traditionally classical, classical music. Yeah. And you found a way to turn this instrument into something that I don't know that whoever invented it ever intended, right? And it's right. so incredible. Um, sort of bring those two things together. Yeah. Is it classical training that makes you better at the melodies? Like, how does that all flow together? I, I would say I would say it's a combination of a lot of factors. Because while um, I started playing, you know, I actually I'm self-taught. So I didn't go to self-taught. Yeah, I'm self-taught. So I didn't go to wow. like any music school. I never studied music. But oh, of course, wow. while I was in my high school, um, I'm at middle school. I took like a music class, you know. And then I still remember I still had the notes. So my mom kept it for me because I had 100. percent She's like, yo, you, you probably. I so she got me like a little keyboard just to keep myself, whatever. And after high school, and I started, you know, delving into music because I was trying to go into university. But I was like, I, let me just pick up this instrument. I started going through the notes. Um, I would say playing classical music. I got drafted into a classical orchestra. I met a lot of professional players. You know, they taught me, you know, from watching them how to place different styles of music. And then growing up in the hood, I always loved popular music, hood music, whatever kind of music. Yeah. I, mean, I grew up in a huge, a huge music loving, you know, home. My mom would play songs from across all genres. So wow. for me, music is one sound. It doesn't matter if it's Indian music, it doesn't matter if it's African music, it doesn't matter if it's hip hop, it doesn't matter if it's country. As soon as I hear it, it just stares up something inside of me and for me it's just one sound. And so when I play it, I want to play how it sounds. I want to play the actual genre. I want people to feel it just with a little fusion and spice of the mala, you know. So. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get hooked up with Jelly Roll and are you going to perform with them again? Hopefully so we're going to be, you know, probably I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag, but <laughs> hopefully so we're going to be doing something. Um, I'm not going to say where, when, but when it happens, you guys are going to know. But um, we met, he was doing his radio tour two years ago um, and I was in, I was in Odyssey. I was, I was performing right there when he came in and so he, he was like, yo, you know, we connected and we became friends over there. And he was like, you know, one of these days we're going to do something. And we didn't know what was going to happen until Rodeo. And he hit me up. He called me. He was like, yo, listen, I know you're about to start your tour, but when are you available? And I told him my tour starts the day after the day he told me. I was like, yo, listen, Wednesday we're going to be doing Rodeo together. We're going to be doing this song, and I'm going to bring you out as a surprise. Do not tell anybody. So I didn't tell anyone. You know, and you were I, able to keep it a secret. I and tried, really I tried my best. Crowd. I tried my best. But it was a huge experience for us to, you know, perform in front of 74,000 people. It was a huge dream come true for both of us. So that was our first time ever doing something that big. Daily Roll does 35,000 capacity, 20,000 capacity. Yes. You know, I've done a couple yeah. with other artists, but that was our first time ever doing 74,000. And it's a huge privilege to do it in my home hometown because Houston is, is home for me. Of course. You know, so first time doing something like that, you know, I was like, ooh, I, 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 I felt so good. And it was like a huge dream come true. Hey, know? Demola, before we go, real quick, where can people follow you? Because you're on tour. We want them to be able to connect with you. Yes, Demola, Demola, at, at Demola Violinist, at Demola Violinist. My website, DemolaTheViolinist.com. You can get tickets on tour. I'm going to be performing in Houston, August 10th at 713 Music Hall, 5,000 capacity. I need the whole of Houston out. Yeah. I need just 5,000 people out of the 74,000 yeah. people that came to Rodeo. You're going to sell that out before no time. I definitely, we will. I believe that. <laughs> August 10th at the Music Hall. Yeah, we'll 713 Music Hall. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thank today. you for having me. It means yeah. a lot. Yeah, you're a sweet guy, man. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.